to another episode on the Ada Fishing YouTube channel. If you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel down below. Leave a big like on this video and leave a comment down below if you would like to just keep them positive. In today's video, we are actually fishing with my boy Mike from First State Fishing. A lot of you may not know who he is, but I will go ahead and put his link in the description down below so you guys can go check him out. He has a very, very large YouTube channel and uh, he's an awesome guy all around. So if you haven't checked him out, be sure to go ahead and go do that. Me and Mike are doing something that a lot of you really love and that is frog fishing. We're actually frog fishing on a golf course and we found this pond and it was just straight up loaded we were catching them like crazy and uh we had so many blow ups it was unreal but i'm not going to keep talking we're going to go ahead hop into it i hope you guys enjoy this one it was a lot of fun to film and uh, it was really fun catching all these fish i'll catch you guys here on the chesty all right so we are walking down here to this spot i actually fished here a little bit yesterday right when it was dark and i caught some couldn't even film because it was so dark but we are back today before dark and hopefully we are going to catch some. All right, we are finally arriving to the spot. I came down here about 10 minutes ago and then realized I didn't have any GoPro batteries and my other one was dead, but now we're back. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna throw this frog. I've got the six cents Vega frog tied on. This is a black color because it is very overcast today. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give it a shot down here. There's just a ton of grass mats. And those bass are just sitting right underneath them, just waiting for something to come across. So that bait that's going to be coming across is going to be this frog. And hopefully one will decide that they want to blow up on it. Yesterday, there was a ton of fish in here. Hoping that it's going to be the same thing today. We'll have to see. My reel is sounding pretty weird. It's squeaking for some reason. I don't really know why. But we're going to give it a shot. Yesterday... They were hitting right before dark pretty well, but I think I should be able to catch a fish or two before it gets dark, so we'll see what happens. We'll give it a shot. Come on. I know there's got to be some up under this mat. They got to be there. Try over there, right up on the bank. Dang it, dude, I missed him. Dang, listen to this thing squealing, dude, this thing's squealing. This reel just really might bite the dust. Good gosh, dude, I don't know what the heck's wrong with this thing. That was our first bite, though. And now she's just, golly, I missed it again, dude. <sighs> well, I'm just really going to say that this is not my fault and that it's definitely the fish's fault because I don't think that they can see it all the way. And it could also be a pretty small fish. Not 100% sure. But that is two bites. Back to back cast. So there's definitely a fish sitting there. I think we just got to get them to actually hit this thing and hit it good. That's the problem. There it is again. Dude, how? How have I missed the same fish three times in a row? How? I mean, how? Three times in a row? Really? I just don't even think I can get it to eat a fourth time. I mean, maybe I'll get lucky and it'll hit it again. I just doubt it. Yeah, I just don't think that fish is gonna hit anymore. He's too smart. He figured out that it's not real. He's like, nope, not happening, buddy. Sorry. Not happening. But we will try casting right there. See how that does. I'm just casting to all these individual mats. There's just little small pieces. Well, they're not really small. They're pretty big, actually. But there's just pieces of these mats. And the fish... You kind of just got to figure out which piece of it they're sitting in. And then you just got to catch them after they hit it three times and miss you. And yeah. Mm. 
Dang. Got him. Got him. Finally, dude. Finally got one. I think it's a little bit of a better fish. Not bad at all. We're going to go ahead and boat flip her on up in here. Yeah, there we go. First one of the day. Nice, healthy one, honestly. Man. Oh, my gosh. That wasn't even in a grass mat. That was outside of a tree. So I think what the deal is, I think they're back in the trees. And I think they're going to move out to the grass mats. But they just haven't moved out to that part yet. So we're going to be focusing on the trees right now till it gets a little bit darker. But that's a nice fish right there. Not bad at all. Good first fish of the day. About a pound and three quarter probably. Nice healthy fish. Give her a nice gentle toss back down there. That was on the six inch Vega Frog. If you guys want any of these, use my code 8 of 10 you get 10% off. Let's go ahead. Let's cast out there again see if we can get another one. That fish hit me two times. The first time I hadn't even moved it and she just smacked it. And then the second time she came back for it after I'd popped it one time. So we'll see if we can get another one. That was kind of an open water. Kind of weird. I just think they're back in those trees right now. And then they're going to pull out into the grass mats. That's when I'm really going to be able to catch them because it's hard to cast to those trees. So we'll see what happens. This thing is squealing so bad. I, I apologize. I know that everybody is going to be like covering their ears. I don't know why this thing's squeaking. It hasn't been doing this for the past couple of days, but all of a sudden it just started. I don't really know why. It's weird. Perfect. That should be a fish really should but it's just not they just haven't came and ate it gosh dude oh, i spoke too soon they did come and eat it they just missed it and i caught some grass instead that's not what we're going for we're going for the fish not the grass great cast come on blow up three two one blow up on it blow up on it come on come on come on got him oh he came off no no dang dude come on dude jeez that thing was freaking vicious that was a good fish that was about a two pounder i think I don't even know what the heck happened with that one, dude. I ain't got no idea. I don't know if that was me or the fish. I have no clue. Oh, man, I should have got him in. Man. Really should have got him in. I don't know if that was the fish or me. I, I don't know. That was a good one, though. I mean, he went airborne for that thing. He came up out of the water. I saw the whole fish. I had him for a second, but he came off. <sighs> Man. It sucks, but you know what? Just got to stay positive. Just got to keep on casting, and I know we're going to get another bite. That's that's the key in fishing. Fishing is a mental game. You got to be confident that you're going to be able to catch a fish. You got to think, okay, where I'm casting, there could be a 10-pounder sitting there ready to eat my frog. So you just got to stay positive, stay confident, and that's how you're going to get it done and catch fish. So... That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see if we can't get on a couple more. Try to cast down here. It's not trees, but it is a grass mat. Got him. Got him. Oh. Oh yeah, there we go. Fish number two. Jeez. All right, we might be getting lucky. They might be in the grass mats now, so. Fish number two, man. Got that grass on there with her. You gotta love when you catch them like that. That's so much fun. There we go. Another one on the frog. She got all kinds of grass and stuff in her mouth. Beautiful fish, though. Got those nice colors. You'll usually notice that the fish you catch in the grass have darker colors because they've been in that grass. So that's why Florida fish are generally so dark, like almost black sometimes because 
there's so much grass down there in Florida. I'm not in Florida right now, but these fish are just relating to this vegetation very well. Also, if you guys are wondering why I am reeling them in so fast, usually with a frog, you can just throw in there, hook them, and then as soon as you hook them, you want to get them in because sometimes you don't get a good hook in them and you don't want to fight them. You can just horse them. That's why I've got this 65 pound braid and this heavy rod because as soon as I get them, I just flip them in because as quick as you can get a frog fish in, the better. Got that one. Got that one. Good fish. Good fish. Yeah, baby, let's go. Number three, finally, geez. Man, it's been tough. I think that's the biggest one so far. Man. She ate that one. That one definitely <laughs> ate it all the way. Jeez. Man. Check that one out. That's the best one so far. What, what a beautiful fish. That's a two pounder all day long. Two pounder all day long on the Vega frog. Man, it has been tough getting these fish to actually commit to it, but whenever they eat it, it's lights out. You just gotta get them to eat it. Let's go ahead and let this one go. That is three fish. I'm really shooting for five. I thought I could catch way more than five, but honestly, because of how tough it is, if I can get five, I'll be pretty satisfied. So two more fish. Hopefully one of them is gonna be a big one. Well, that was cool. See if we can do it again. That would be even cooler. Oh, you missed that one. All right, I think they're feeding a little bit better now. I keep getting stuck in all these stupid plants whenever I get, whenever I set the hook. Kind of pain in the butt. I thought that one had it pretty good, to be honest with you. I don't really know what the heck happened on that one. But that's where I cast it when I just caught that other one. Had it dangling in the tree, popped it right out like that. Popped it a couple times, and then kaboom, smacked it. All right, we're gonna squeeze the water out. We're gonna take this thing for a spin down here. See if anything's down here in this grass. This is where it was. Dude, I saw the fish coming for it, dude. Dang. I saw the fish coming for it, but he just didn't hit it right. I literally was watching the wake come from the right side. I was like, oh gosh, he's about to hit it. Hit it, nothing there. Nothing there. Dang. Maybe it'll hit it again. I don't, I don't think that one's going to, though. She was pretty determined that she was going to eat it. And we missed her. This is... Got him that time. It did come back for it. Booyah. There we go. Fish number four. Jeez. See, one reason why they can't really eat it all the way is because some of them are really small like this. All right, she's trying to jump. I'm just trying to get this grass off. Some of them are really small like this. I mean, you can tell she can get the frog in her mouth, but it's not like it's an easy meal to really eat. You know what I mean? So they're probably hitting it. They're kind of missing it. They might be hitting it sideways, knocking it. I don't really know, but that is fish number four right there for us. One more until we hit five. We're going to see how many we can catch. Maybe the bite's going to turn on. I think it is, but we'll see. Time to go ahead and let number four go. There she goes. That was probably the same fish that hit me. I didn't think it was going to hit me again but it probably was i was in the exact same spot where i had that other blow up the good thing is, is that like if i do miss them sometimes they do come back for it but it just really sucks that i'm not getting them on the first bite and i really just think that it's the way they're eating it it's been tough fishing all day long like i said this is the afternoon right now so i've been fishing all day but they just really haven't been eating good today and i think it's because of the hurricane that we just had come through but I'm glad that I'm at least getting a couple on this frog because this is by far my favorite way to catch bass, 100%. I know you're sitting down there, Mr. Bass. I know you're sitting down there. Still not in that grass like they should be, though. 
They should be smacking me right now. Every cast, like they should be loaded up under there, but they're just not in there. Either they're not in there or they're just not hungry. It's one of those two options because I'm not getting bit in the grass hardly at all. I am a little bit, but it is nothing like it should be. It should be like insane. That was a absolutely great cast right into the tree. Is what that was. See, it's so weird to me because like yesterday I was actually at this pond and I was catching them in all of this big grass. And today I come back and the fish have moved. So it's kind of crazy. You would think that in a pond like this, those fish are not going to move. But right now, these fish are not where they were yesterday. I've been catching a lot of them in the trees when yesterday I wasn't even fishing the trees. So it's, it's weird that they move, but sometimes you just have to adapt. I thought I was going to come out here and just catch the heck out of them in the grass. But you know what? Turns out I got to catch them in the trees. So got to adapt and overcome and figure out the fish. That is the fun thing about fishing is... The fish are smart. You just got to figure out what they're doing or else you're just not going to catch them, period. So. so we've got four so far. We're going to go ahead and work our way back down a little bit towards Mike. And we're going to see if we can't pick up anything. I mean, this is a pretty large pond, but I was kind of giving him half and I was kind of taking half. That way it was even between the two of us. But it's probably about time to check in on him and see how he's doing. He could have absolutely smoked them. I have no idea, but I'm probably going to try a couple more casts and stuff right over here. I'll work my way down. Got that one. That's number five. That's number five right there. Get up in here, girl. Get up in here, girl. Yes, sir. There we go. That is a five fish limit for us. Yes. Fifth one today on the frog. Heck yeah. Man, that took a long time, but it finally happened. Jeez. That one kind of hit it out towards the middle a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. There we go. There's our beautiful fish number five. Nice dark colored fish. Beautiful, man. That one gave me a nice good blow up. 